Hey everybody, welcome to Kapow Right Now. My name is Johnny and today I am going to show you how to make a smudge painting. And you don't need any painting talent whatsoever. So let's get started. All you need for this project is a bottle of colored paint, some white paint, a blank white canvas. I prefer the ones with the little wooden frame on the back and a paintbrush. Any size paintbrush will do. I prefer big fat paintbrushes. Step one, cover your canvas with colored paint. Very simple, just take off the lid, cover the thing nice and great, and paint away back and forth. Just cover the entire thing with the colored paint. Back and forth, just get it all covered nicely. Like so, just cover it all up. Doesn't have to be neat, just make sure the whole canvas is covered on the front. Then you take your white paint, just put some drops on wherever you choose, however big, small, doesn't really matter, like so. And then you just start brushing it back and forth, oops, back and forth like this. Big smooth strokes back and forth from one edge to the other. Now you want to keep your canvas nice and wet with the paint. Um, if not, you'll get these big blotches in it and dry and it won't be nice and smooth looking. Just back and forth, long strokes, stroke, 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 stroke. Make Billy Squire proud. Just back and forth, nice. If you get too much paint, just slop it off on the side. You don't want it too sloppy. Uh, you can just do straight. Whichever you choose, just make sure your canvas is nice and covered with the paint. I'm gonna add some more, and if you get some dry spots on there, you can always put some more color and smooth it back out. Or if you uh, want to put some more white, like I'm going to do, do that also. Just have some fun, play around, back and forth. Like, look at that. That's all shiny in the camera there. It's back and forth, back and forth. And there you go. How cool is that? As for the edges, you can just go along with your paintbrush like so. If you get some uh, paint up on the top, just smooth it back out. I absolutely love doing these. And that's it. That's all it takes to create a really great smudge painting. See, just because you can't paint a perfect looking bowl of fruit doesn't mean that you can't be a painter. Heck, look at Picasso. And what I love about smudge paintings is not only are they simple and incredibly inexpensive to make, but they are a really great way to add your own personal touch to any room in your house or your office or anywhere. And what I really love to do is create smudge paintings using leftover interior house paint. That's how I created these. I just bought three 16 by 20 inch canvases, then I used leftover dark magenta paint that we had used to, to paint one of the single walls in one of our bedrooms. And the other walls were painted a nice New York winter white. So I just covered the canvases with the dark magenta paint, then I used the leftover New York white paint for the smudge highlights. Then I just took all three and I hung them next to each other on one of the white walls in the bedroom. I also created the dark gray paintings behind me the exact same way, but I used dark gray, house paint. Then I kind of just went nuts with the gray paint and painted everything in my studio. The kapow letters, that desk, that desk, this desk, that pipe lamp, those pipes, these pipes. I dig it. Like Brian G. Johnson digs digging things. You dig? Poof. Poof. Dusty stuff. Pixie dust. So there you have it. Now you know how to make a smudge painting. And now you know what to do with all that leftover house paint you have laying around. So I hope you enjoyed getting smudgy with it with me today. And if you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you love this video because you like to get your creative on, then be sure to subscribe because we release new creative related videos every single week. So until next time, oh, telephone. Ugh.